This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I set the rotation snap angle for the Gizmo 3D? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head model here loaded in. And the question is asking about the rotation snap angle when using the Gizmo 3D. So as an example of this, I'm just going to come up here and activate Move, Scale, or Rotate, and this will turn on the Gizmo 3D. With the Gizmo 3D activated, if I hover over one of the circular elements of the Gizmo 3D, this will allow me to rotate the model. And let's say with the model here, I want to rotate it to 45 degrees. So if I start rotating the demo head here, you'll see I'm getting some numbers that are appearing on the bottom of the Gizmo 3D, and these are representative of the angle he's currently being rotated at. Now while I'm performing this rotation, if I hold down the Shift key, by default this will snap to 5 degree angles. So I can come through and hold down Shift, and then I can rotate this, and this will allow me to reach that 45 degree angle. Now let's say instead of having this snapping happen at every 5 degrees, I want it to happen at maybe 45 degrees only, or another custom set value. So to change this, we just need to first navigate up here to the Z plugin tab, and then we need to locate the miscellaneous utilities. In here, you have some miscellaneous utilities they can use inside of ZBrush. And one of these is a slider that is labeled Snap Angle, and then a button directly below it that is called Set Snap Angle. So if I want to change the snap angle from the Gizmo 3D from 5 to 45, all I need to do is come to this slider here, type in 45, and then hit Enter on my keyboard, and now simply click Set Snap Angle. After this angle is set, if I go back to the Gizmo 3D and I start rotating, when I hold down Shift, this is now going to snap into those 45 degree angles. So I've now changed the snapping value from the default of 5, and now it's going to snap at 45 degrees. Now if I want to modify this value again, I can go back to the Z plugin tab, go to the miscellaneous utilities. Say I want it to be at 15 degrees, I can come over here and type 15, hit enter, and then click set snap angle. Now I can go back to the Gizmo 3D, start rotating, hold down shift, and now it will snap at 15 degrees. Now let's say I want to rotate the model here to 21 degrees. So I'm going to go to the Z plugin tab again, go to miscellaneous utilities. In the snap angle here, I'm going to type in 21 and hit enter. And now I'm going to click Set Snap Angle. Now the angle snapping for the Gizmo 3D here looks at a degree of 90 and then calculates the value from that. So if I try to set a snap angle of 21, that does not cleanly divide into 90. So if I try to set the snap angle with an angle value set of 21, I'm going to get a little dialog that's going to pop up. And this dialog is telling you that the desired value of 21 will not clearly divide by 90 degrees. So do I want to set the snap value to 1 instead so I could attain the exact snap angle? So if I hit cancel here, it's going to use the value of 21. So I'm just going to hit cancel on this, and now it's going to set that value to 21. And as an example of how 21 is going to work, if I start rotating this and then hold down shift, you'll see that it's going to snap to 21, but it's not going to be a perfect 21 degree rotation. So it's going to have a value that has a decimal point in it. And this is because if you take 90 degrees and try to divide it by 21, it does not give you a whole number. So if I want to reach the angle value of 21, what the plugin is telling me is if I try to set the snap angle at 21, I'm not going to be able to reach it, but if I set the snap value to 1, I'll be able to get that 21 degree rotation. So I'm going to hit OK this time, and now I'm going to go back to the Gizmo 3D, and I'm going to start rotating. Now my snap angle will be set to 1 degrees, and now I can hone in on that 21 degree angle of rotation, and now I've rotated the demo head at that angle. So once again, to recap, to change the snap value that the Gizmo 3D is using, you just need to navigate to the Z plugin tab, go to the miscellaneous utilities area, down here at the bottom, there'll be a snap angle slider. You just come through here and type in the value you want to snap to, hit enter, and then click set snap angle. This will now be processed, and now if you come across the Gizmo 3D and start rotating, then hold down the shift key, this will now snap to that specific angle. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.